During this tutorial, we are going to perform 90 degree rotations around the origin clockwise and counterclockwise. Any object being rotated 90 degrees will start in a quadrant and end up in the very next quadrant. It just depends if you are going to move in a clockwise or a counterclockwise fashion. For example, if you have an object that is located in quadrant number 1 and you rotate that object 90 degrees clockwise, that object is going to end up in quadrant number 4 where the x values are positive and the y values are negative. And if you have an object in quadrant number 1 and you rotate that object 90 degrees counterclockwise, that object is going to be rotated to quadrant number 2 where the x values are negative and the y values are positive. Now with any point that's being rotated 90 degrees in either direction, one thing that we should note about the x and the y values is that the x and the y values will be switched around after being rotated. For example, look at point A on the screen, which is located at positive 6, positive 2. If we rotate that point 90 degrees, the x and the y values will be switched around. You would have to write the 2 first and the 6 second. After switching your numbers around, you have to look at which quadrant your point is currently in and change the negative and positive values according to that quadrant. Because we rotated a point to quadrant number 2, we have to make sure that our x value is negative and our y value is positive. Let's try an example. We are going to rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. And the first thing that we are going to do is write down the current coordinates of points A, B, and C. Point A is located at positive 4, positive 3. Point B is located at positive 4, positive 5. And point C is located at positive 10, positive 5. After writing the current location of your points, simply take each one of those ordered pairs and switch around the x and the y values. So for 4, 3, we just switch it to 3, 4. For 4, 5, we change that to 5, 4. And 10, 5, we change to 5, 10. Now, after you switch around the x and the y values, you have to take care of your negative and your positive signs, and that is done by figuring out which quadrant you are rotating to. Because the triangle is going to be rotated clockwise, we are going to end up in quadrant number 4. In this quadrant, all of the x's are positive and all of the y's are negative. Now that we have the location of our new points, we can plot the points on the coordinate plane. So we're going to put point A at 3, negative 4. Point B is going to be at 5, negative 4. And C is going to be located at positive 5, negative 10. And after plotting those points, we can connect the points to form our shape. And this will be the new location of triangle ABC after it is rotated 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. One thing that we can note after doing our rotation is that if we were to connect a line from point A to the origin, and then from the origin to the new location of point A, a 90 degree angle would be formed. The same should be true for the other points. So if we drew a line from the original location of point B to the origin, and from the origin to the new location of point B, we would also have a right angle. And the same thing would hold true for point C. So if you were performing a 90 degree rotation, you can use this to see if you rotated your shape to the correct location. Alright, now we're going to try another example, but this time we are going to rotate an object counterclockwise around the origin. So now we have a triangle located in quadrant number 3, and we're going to rotate that triangle counterclockwise around the origin. If we rotate this triangle 90 degrees counterclockwise, we should be able to see that we will end up somewhere in quadrant number 4. To find the precise location, we are going to begin by recording the current location of points A, B, and C in quadrant number 3. Point A is located at negative 8, negative 2. Point B is located at negative 6, negative 8. And point C is located at negative 2, negative 6. After recording your original points, simply switch around the x and the y values. Don't worry about the signs at the moment. Just start by switching the numbers regardless of the signs in front of them. Now, after you switch the numbers around, 
figure out what quadrant you are going to and you have to adjust those signs accordingly. Because we are moving to quadrant number four, we have to make sure that all of our x values are positive and that all of our y values are negative. Now that we have the new location of our points, we can plot them on the coordinate plane. After plotting your points, you can simply connect the dots and that will be the precise location of your 90 degree rotation. So when performing any 90 degree rotation, start by switching around the x and the y values of the ordered pair. And after you switch around the x and the y values, you have to change the signs according to the quadrant that you are going to end up in.